So today, um, I wanted to give a little disclaimer before I do this video. Uh, I don't agree with Karen's. <laughs> um, I do food service for a living and I have done it for, for many, many, many years. So this role play is not me as a person. Um, I think these people treat others terribly. Um, and I kind of just wanted to have fun with this role play today. So don't take anything I do seriously. This is all in jest. I love you all. <laughs> and I hope that you enjoy. Also, if you can hear a buzzing in the background for this video, I'm so sorry. I tried to get rid of it and I can't. So I hope that's not too distracting. I'm so sorry. I love you all. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the Karen roleplay. Dun dun dun. <sighs> like, where is she? She said she was already supposed to be here. I hate it when people make me wait. I'm not like everyone else. I have better things to do. I could be like, get my hair redone, get my nails redone. <sighs> go getting brunch, mimosas. Said I'm waiting on her again. <sighs> Lord, that woman sometimes I swear. Well, it's her heart, but I swear. She dumped it in a can of biscuits. Ugh. <sighs> Alright, I'm waiting like uh, two more minutes and then I'm leaving. If she doesn't show up, I got better things to do with my time. I <sighs> can't always be waiting on other people. They're supposed to be waiting on me. Oh, well, look who decided to show up. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for taking your time out of the day to come meet me. <laughs> Bless you. Mm-hmm. Nice to see you too, kiss. Mm -hmm. Hi, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you already order? Good. All right. That's good. Mm-hmm. Let me just wait. The service is a little slow here. Um, I don't know if it's really so much the service that's slow. Maybe it's the people that are slow. You know, I mean, they do work here. Like, maybe they have some mental issues. Like, they can't find a job nowhere else. So, they gotta, like, work here and do, like, poor people labor. Oh, Lord, those poor things, bless their heart. Mm. I could I could not imagine working in a place like this. I mean, it's it, you get dirty, you get sweaty. I couldn't have my nails. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, this is not, this is not for me. Mm -mm, nope, I, I would rather kill myself than work a day here. Like, I, mm, Lord, I would never, I would never. I would heaven forbid if my husband ever demanded that I get a job. Is he insane? I am far too pretty to be in any sort of manual labor. I am trying to keep my complexion free of wrinkles. Mm-hmm. And working in a place like this, mm-mm. It's not good for my skin. It's not good for my hair. It wouldn't be good for anything for me. Mm-mm. No, ma'am. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. My hair? Yeah, no, I've been growing it out. It's all natural. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not a natural brunette. I used to dye my hair darker. Thank you very much. Ugh. Nerve. Sometimes I wonder about you. Thinking that this is not... Thinking that this is not my real hair. You should be ashamed of yourself. Question a lady like that. Well, they better hurry up with that drink. My goodness, it's already been like two minutes. Where are they? Why does it take so long? I know they keep saying that they're understaffed. I think they're just underqualified. Like, ugh, I cannot, cannot with these people. 
Like, there's a reason you're working in a job like this. And it's because you are not high caliber enough to be doing anything else. It, right? I know. I know these people, they just think that they deserve a living wage. And I'm like, why do you deserve to make $20 an hour? Doing, like, sweeping, mopping, cleaning up after stuff. Like, you are a glorified custodian. Like, know your place. You know what I mean? Of course you do. You know what I mean. Yes, I know. You Girl, you always know what I mean. That's why we're friends. You, you, come here. Come here. Yeah, you. You, come here. Yes, hi, hi, how are you? Mm-hmm, that's great. Um, when is her drink going to be ready? Mm hmm You're understaffed. And you're busy. I don't... I see. I'm just hearing excuses coming from you. Um, we are very important clientele. And uh, my husband, he's uh, a neurosurgeon. And, um, yeah, he makes, like, most of the money in this town. So if you could go on moseying along and hurry up. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay, bye. Thank you. Go on. Run along now. Do your job. <laughs> Bless his heart. Well, hopefully though, it'll make him hurry up a little bit. Sometimes you just gotta snap these people, you know? I mean, they just, they say treat people nicely, but I found that that doesn't get me anywhere. Like, I'm still waiting the same amount of time. Like, if I just tell them, hurry up, do your job better, they seem to hurry up and do the job better. And they always seem a little disgruntled about doing it, but you know what? At the end of the day, I got what I wanted. I don't care about the rest of everything else. They don't like me. I'm not here for them to like me. I have enough money. I don't care if they like me or not. Mm-hmm. Exactly. They say that money gives you, like, a big head and a big ego. I say that money is, like, the root of all happiness. Like, there's not anything that money cannot solve. I, I know, right? Like the car crash last week. They said that he's like in the ICU. Apparently, is like a terminal. He's gonna die. I'm like, whatever. He'll be fine. Just walk it off. He's being over dramatic about the whole thing. Got six broken ribs and a broken leg and arm. Like, you'll be fine. You're gonna be fine. Time heals all wounds. Thank you. Thank you. And then they have the audacity to try to raise my insurance rates. Mm-mm. Lord, girl. Mm-mm. No. No. That is not okay. I, I know. I called them and complained, too. I said, do you know who my husband is? And they're like, yes, he's so-and-so, ma'am, doctor, so-and-so. I'm like, yes. Why are you raising my insurance rates? Because of the accident? Uh, right? It's ridiculous. I shouldn't have to be paying for that. I mean, technically it was my fault, but like, he turned his car right at the wrong time when I was trying to go first. Whatever happened to the old manners, ladies first? I, exactly. Exactly. He's such a rude man. Cursing up a storm like a sailor. I was like, do you speak to your mother with that mouth? Do you even have a mother? Well, if you do, oh, oh, that poor woman. Bless her heart. I hope that she's all right raising a monster like that. I know that man should be ashamed of himself. Turning right in front of me. He had the light, but like, ladies first, I was going. He should have waited. I know. They're like, oh, do you want to send a, a sympathy card to the hospital and help out with the medical expenses? I said, no. If he has any brain damage, my husband can deal with him. I know. I know. The audacity of these people. It's getting ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous. I know. I know. Girl, I know. I can't. Ugh. It just makes me want to hurt other people on purpose. I would never. It's not my style. Oh, look who decided to come. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Bring it here. Bring it. Set it down. 
There you go. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Go on. Go. I don't know. Change out the toilet paper rolls or something. Hmm. Bye. See, hopefully they made it right. If they didn't, if they messed up my order, Lord have mercy. They didn't mess it up, but it tastes like dirt. I, uh, I got a hot coffee with 12 sugars, 14 creams. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they said that was a lot. And they're like, ma'am, do you know how much you're asking for? I said, do not question a lady. I said what I said. I told you what I wanted. Go ahead and make it. I know. Why are you asking me questions? I told you what I wanted. Trying to make sure. Yeah, question my good judgment is what that sounds like. Ugh, people. How's yours? Oh, they didn't make it right? Girl, hold on. Hold on. You. You, come here. Come here. Uh-huh. Yeah, come here. Come here. What is your manager's name? Patricia. Your manager is a woman? What kind of y'all establishment you got here? No, you should be... That is disgusting. No. No woman should be in a management position. No woman should have management powers. That is, I am, I am appalled at the staff here. This, if my husband were here, do you know what he would do? Oh, he would give you a good talking to. That's what he would do. Take you out and back and show you some manners. You got her order wrong. I, no, no, no. There will be, no, there will be no back talk in this here place. Do you understand me? I don't care if this is where you work. I don't care that this is your place of employment. You do not treat your customers like this. You need to get fired. In fact, what is this, what is the number for your corporate? Is there a higher up that I can get a hold of, please? Oh, don't give me stuttering. You answer my question when I ask you something. What was that? Uh huh. Okay. Hang, hang on. Hang on. Let me hang on. Uh huh. All right. And who should I ask for? All right. Yeah. Hi, yes, I'm at one of your establishments here down on uh, 24th and Main. Mm hmm yeah. I would like to go ahead and file a complaint about a worker here. Yeah, what was your name again? That is most, okay. Uh-huh, yeah. What is your employee number? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, 243. Mm -hmm. Employee number 243. His name is Trevor. I, that is most basic. Your parents did not love you. All right, Trevor. Mm -hmm. His name is Trevor. Description. Um, Could be taller. Could be better looking. Oh, you meant like actual. Okay. Uh, I, I would say medium height at best. Like 6'3". Short King. Um, anyway, uh, 6'3", so medium height. He has, uh, like, dirty blonde hair. I, I, yeah, it looks like it needs wash, too. It's just kind of laying there on limp. You make it look like that? Ugh, okay. Um, he looks like he has blue eyes, green eyes. I can't tell. This place is poorly lit. Yeah, I, I would I would say blue if I had you. 
You have brown eyes? All right, Trevor. He says he has brown eyes? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Oh, you're going to send someone down today. Oh, thank you so much. What's my name? Oh, it's Karen. Mm-hmm. No, it's Karen with a C. A lot of people call it Kareen. It makes it sound fancy. I kind of like it. Kareen, Karen. Who are you foreign? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Thank you, darling. Bless your heart. All right. Mm-hmm. You have a great day, too. God bless you. All right. Praise his name. Bye. All right, you. You're going to get a stern talking to. When that district manager comes down, I hope they fire you on the spot and give you what for. Yeah, okay. Go on, Trevor. Enjoy the rest of your day while you're still working here. Ugh. Can you believe the nerve of that man? Rude. His mama did not raise him like that. Or she did. Ugh. That woman needs manners. Treating people like that. Treating you like you're subhuman. It's disgusting. I know. I can't stand these people. Like, why are we even here? We should just have our own everything. We should buy our own private coffee shop. Or I can just hire someone to make it at my house every morning. Just have a barista or whatever they're called come in and do it for me. I do, I do not. I will never make my own food, my own coffee, none of that. I am far too refined of a woman, and I can't mess up my manicure. Like, these are these are high-end nails that I get down done at that shop down there with all them little uh, I don't know, Asian ladies, I guess, if you want to call them that. I don't know. I don't know where they're from. Never bothered to ask. They're always talking amongst themselves. And I was like, we speak English here in America, but I go off, I guess, and whatever you're saying. I had to confront one of them one time. They accidentally cut too much of my cuticle, and I started bleeding. And I said, woman, I said, ma'am, if you do not stop, with your talking and chattering and not paying attention to me. When it's my time, I paid for you to pay attention to me. I paid for your services. You better give me your full attention. I'm going to call the police. I, I, I was going to call the police. I'm like, that is assault. You are assaulting your customers. I know. Who, how are they still in business? Oh, it's, I, I left a bad Yelp review. I left a bad Google review. I'm going to let everyone know they are out of hand. I know. I know. They're going to get shut down. They're going to get hygienic-wise. I mean, it smelled fine, looked clean. They probably got roaches all skittering in the back, though. Knowing them and that smelly food that they eat. Ugh. I don't like, well, I, oh, I'm sorry. Are you too good for chicken fried steak and mashed potatoes? Like, are you too good for fried okra? Ugh. This is America. We eat American food here. Thank you very much. I, I know people are like, well, they're just trying to have their ethnic dish. Their ethnic dishes smell like garbage. Smells like rotting, burning trash. Like, no one wants to smell that. Please go away. I know. I know. It's a, ugh, disgusting. <sighs> so, how have you been? Mm-hmm. Are you still dating that man? Yar? Yeah, what was his name again? T Timothy? Stefan? Ricardo? Who names their white child Ricardo? Oh, oh, he not white. He he's Hispanic. Is, is why? 
why would you date someone like that? Because he's nice to you and treats you. Girl, what does he work as? Like a janitor or something? Like, is he just like a trash man? He, he works as an accountant for a lawyer firm. Did he, like, forge his resume? You know, he went to school. He has the Harvard. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if I buy that. Well, I guess everyone needs a sob store to get in somewhere for school. <laughs> Can't buy it. Gotta fake your way into it. Mm -hmm. Is he decent at his job at all? Uh, some kind of tells me he might not be. Oh, he is. Oh, he is. Uh, all right. I guess you're the expert on it. You're the one dating him after all. Uh, he can't be making that much. Is that all he's making a year? He's only making 450000 a year? Oh, sweetheart, do you need a place to stay? Are you, are you, are you doing okay? Are you, you're not about to live out of your car, are you? You have a house, you have a four bedroom, three bath house with a garage, all that. Do you have like termites though? Like, are you, are you dealing with bug problems in your house? 450000 a year. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, bless your heart. How are you making it? Oh, you are so humble. That is what I love about you. You are just... You love people just you know, whether they have oodles of money or not. Oh, honey, you know that if you ever need anything, you can ask me for it. I'm always there for you. I want you to have the best. You deserve it. Not anyone in this world. You're the one that deserves it. 450000 a year. That man should be ashamed of himself. Well, if he can't take you vacationing in Paris six times a year, is he even really worth it? Have you ever seen the Eiffel Tower? Once you've seen it once... That is disgusting. You should have seen it way more times than that by now. Haven't dated him as long as you have. A year and a half, and y'all still ain't married either. You, you, you know how I feel about that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I won't say nothing. Laura's the one to judge you, not me. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, I think... That is time y'all got married. All right, all right, I'm just, okay. I mean, if you do get married, though, I know a few uh, more eligible bachelors that uh, you might uh, want to be interested in because uh, they make far more money than that uh, very sad 450000 a year. Mm-hmm, yeah. Where, um, there are some of my husband's colleagues... Mm -hmm. They also are, we have a, a single neurosurgeon. We also have a <clears throat> single man that does heart surgery. He's a heart surgeon. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, and it's great to, to date a doctor because if you ever have cholesterol issues or if you ever have issues that need looked at, well, you get, there's your treatment right there. I know. I know. It's, it's honestly, it's worth it. You know, he's gone, like, all the time. I never have to deal with him. We don't have plan on having children. Like, I cannot ruin this figure, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not about to ruin my hair and my life for a sniveling, disgusting little two-year-old. Ugh, ugh. Whoever had children, they should be ashamed of themselves. Mm -mm. Nope. No, no. I know it says be fruitful and multiply in the Bible, but like, I'm kind of thinking they're talking about money. Like, multiply your money so you can make it, you know, actually be a person in this world and mean something and leave a legacy behind in your own name. I pass it on to other people. Mm hmm. You do want children? 
You do want children? No, no. Don't have children. Just don't. Just don't. It's not worth it. People are like, oh, you'll never know true happiness till you have children. My true happiness was sleeping in till like 11, waking up whenever I want to, being able to do whatever I want to, and vacation wherever I want to. That's true happiness. Mm hmm. Exactly. Exactly. I guess each their own, but yeah, not children. Well, I've got to run. I got to go uh, meet my husband and uh, make sure that he um, still has his wedding ring on because he has a tendency to take it off for work. So <laughs> he's so silly. I got to make sure that he remembers to put it back on. So I got to go check on him. But I love you, darling. And you have a good night or good day, I guess I should say. <laughs> silly. Anyway, all right. I love you. Kisses. Kisses again. Okay. All right. I love you. Bye. I will go ahead and we'll chat. We'll find some other time to meet up. Okay. Bye. Bye.